Hi, I'm Bad Wolf, and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to install Stardew Valley mods. So the first thing that you're going to want to have, if you don't already, is some kind of program that will decompress or unzip files. So the program I use is called WinRAR. You can go to their website at win-rar.com, and you'll just want to click this Download WinRAR button. And then you'll click it again. And you'll see it download into the bottom left corner of your screen here. You'll want to click on that. Click yes. Install. OK. Done. All right, and you can just close this window. It's also going to open up the location where the program was installed. You can just close that window as well. Next, you will want to download the mod Smappy, Stardew Modding API. I download my mods from Nexus Mods. There are different places where you can get mods. You will need to register with this site to download mods. You can click register. Now, I already have an account, so, you know, I would just sign in. But when you click register, you will end up at a screen that looks something like this. Now there are paid versions of membership, or you can just click this button. I'll stick with the basic membership, which is a free membership. So if you go to nexusmods.com slash Stardew Valley, you will get mods that are just Stardew Valley. If you scroll down here, uh, you can see that you can filter these results. Uh, you know, just for new mods that were uploaded today, popular mods, however you want to do it. If you click Explore All Mods, you'll see there are a ton of mods just for Stardew Valley. So since we know exactly what we're looking for, I'm just going to type it into the search bar, Smappy. And you'll see it pulls up Smappy Stardew Modding API. You'll want to click on that. And then just click on Manual Download. So it's going to give you the option to do a slow download or a fast download, which uh, you would pay for. Uh, the slow download is free. I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see it come down into this left lower corner. You'll just click on that. You can just close this window. The Smappy folder has opened up in the WinRAR program. That's what we want. So any mods that you download for Stardew Valley are going to come in a compressed or zipped format, which is not a usable format. So the way that we make it usable is we extract or decompress the files. So the way you do that is just clicking this Extract To button. And this is just asking, where do you want these files to go? So I just put this on my desktop so it's very easy to find. So I'm clicking desktop and then OK. So this process is pretty instantaneous unless you're uh, unzipping a really large file. Um, so you'll see it come up right away. You can just close this window right away. If it was a very large file, you'd see a uh, progress bar pop up. So we'll just close this. All right, so we're gonna double click on this Smappy installer folder. And I have a Windows computer, so I'm gonna click on install on Windows. There are also Mac and Linux options here. So it's just popping open a box asking where we want this to be installed. So for me, it's defaulting to C, Program Files by 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stardew Valley. So it's wanting to save this in a Steam folder because I downloaded Stardew Valley from Steam. If you downloaded Stardew, Stardew Valley from GOG, it's going to default to a GOG folder. Uh, so this might be different for you depending on, you know, what type of computer you have and where you downloaded Stardew Valley from. 
I would just leave it on wherever it defaults to, and I'd recommend selecting this and hitting Control C to copy the location because we'll use that later. So we're just going to confirm this is where we want uh, the program installed. So we'll just hit one enter. And then it's asking if we want to install or uninstall Smappy. We want to install, so we'll just hit one and enter again. So Smappy is installed. So we can go ahead and close this window. We can close this one as well. And then we can actually just delete the Smappy installer folder. Next, we'll want to download our mod, whatever mod it happens to be. So I'm going to go back to the Nexus Mods website. And I'm going to install a mod called Chests Anywhere. So since I know what mod it is, I'm just going to type it into the search bar. So it comes right up. We can just select Chests Anywhere. Manual download. And here it's just popping up a box saying you need to have Smappy installed for this mod to work properly. We have that, so we're just going to click the download button. We'll confirm that we want to do the slow download. And we'll just click on the downloaded mod right here in the lower left corner. So the mods folder has opened up in WinRAR and we're going to decompress the files by hitting extract to. Now from here on out, you don't want to be extracting your mod files onto your desktop. You want them to go into your mods folder. So this is asking where we want this saved. I'm just going to delete this. You can just hit control V to paste that location that we copied earlier. And you'll see that right here, your mods folder shows up. You'll just wanna click on that and then click okay. Now, if you didn't happen to copy that file location, you can get to it manually. So it's gonna be located in your C drive. and then program files by 86. If you don't have this program files by 86, you would just do the regular program files. Then it's gonna be in Steam, if Steam is the app that you used, the website you used to download Stardew Valley. If you use GOG, it would be in a GOG folder. And then in Steam, it would be Steam apps. And then common, if it was in GOG, you would have a folder called games. And then you click Stardew Valley, and you have your mods folder right here. Now, if you are using a Mac computer or if you're running Linux, this is going to be, this mods folder is going to be located in a different location. So these are the default locations where your mods folder would be saved. Uh, depending on what type of computer you have and where you downloaded Stardew Valley from. I will put a link to this document in the description. All right, so we've selected our mods folder, so we're just going to hit OK. So this is pretty instantaneous. We can assume that the Chess Anywhere mod was installed in the mods folder, but if we wanted to double check, we can just go to our file explorer, hit our C drive, program files by 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Stardew Valley. And you can see the mods folder here. This folder was created by Smappy when you installed Smappy, so it is important that you install Smappy before you're installing other mods. We can click on that and we can see we have our Chess Anywhere mod ready to go. And you know, what I like to do is actually save my Stardew Valley folder to my desktop. So if you just right click it, 
you can click send to desktop. And that'll create a short shortcut for your desktop. So that just makes it really easy to install and uninstall mods. So at any time, if you want to uninstall a mod, you can double click on this. Go to mods. And for the vast majority of mods, all you need to do is delete the folder. So you could just right click on this, delete, and that would uninstall the mod. So we can just close this WinRAR program. So now we can run the game using Smappy. If you don't see a Stardew Modding API shortcut on your desktop, you can just locate it the same way we located the files previously. Going to File Explorer, C Drive, Program Files by 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stardew Valley, and you'll see Stardew Modding API with this little yellow gold chicken icon. You can just right click on that, send to desktop, and that'll create a shortcut for your desktop. So now you'll see you have the Stardew Modding API shortcut on your desktop. And whenever you want to run the game with mods, you would just double click on that and that would start the game up. Now you could also locate the Stardew Modding API by just clicking on this folder if you save this folder to your desktop. And what's nice about having the folder saved here is if you wanted to install a whole bunch of mods at once, you already have the location just right here for your mods folder. And then you can just right click on it, click copy address, and then when you're extracting your files with WinRAR, you can just paste that location into, you know, the area where you put the destination that you want your mod, whatever mod it is saved to. So you can just copy this and then with every mod that you're installing, when it asks, when WinRAR asks where you want it installed, you can just do control V and paste that address in. All right, so another thing that I wanted to show you guys is how to link Smappy to Steam. That way you can launch the game, launch Stardew Valley from Steam with your mods. So this is something that you would do when you install Smappy. If you already have Smappy installed, I would go ahead and go through the installation process again. If you install Smappy when you already have it, it's just going to update Smappy if there are any updates available. So we'll click manual download here. Slow download. And you'll see the download appear down here in the lower left corner. We'll click on that. We're in WinRAR again with our Smappy folder here. We're going to extract. And we'll just select our desktop. So you see that folder showed up right here. I'm going to close this. Run the Windows installer. Just confirm where we're saving the file. Now it says Smappy installed. And it says if you use Steam, set your launch options to enable achievements. And it gives you this directory here. So you want to copy this whole thing, including the quotation mark at the start, all the way to the percentage sign at the end. You want to hit Control C to copy that. We can go ahead and close this. Go ahead and open up Steam. You're going to right click on Stardew Valley, Properties. 
And then here, this is already in here because I already have this set up on my computer. But it might be blank when you get to this window. You're just going to paste that in. So now Steam knows when it launches Stardew Valley. It's going to launch it from here using Stardew Valley Modding API Smappy. So you can just close this. And then the next time you launch Stardew Valley from Steam, hitting the play button here, it's going to launch with your mods. All right, so let's see if it worked. We will click on our Stardew Modding API shortcut. So it's starting to open the game. The game does tend to take a bit longer to load when you have mods. So we'll just load a previous save that we have. All right, so this mod, the Chess Anywhere mod, you just hit the B key, and it's going to pull up any chest that you have on your farm uh, or your farmhouse. So right now, its farmhouse is selected. It's showing the fridges and the chests that I have in my farmhouse. Or you can go to farm, you know, if you have chests located in cabins, in uh, barns or coops, it'll pull all that up so I can see what's in my one of my big sheds. And you can move stuff around if you want to. You can access things from anywhere on the map. So that's what we want with the Chess Anywhere mod. So this is working perfectly. And that's it. Uh, so thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, um, go ahead and like it. Or if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more Stardew tutorials. And my husband and I also stream on Twitch. We stream Stardew as well as other games. And that would be at twitch.tv slash dyingticklesandbadwolf. Thanks.